You have never looked more like a Texas oil billionaire and his young <laughs> wife than right now, mate. But, um, I'm going to get this back on the rails, yeah. mate. A few days ago, she was just a typical uni student and part-time sports coach. But then this happened. Miss Universe Australia 2023 is... Maria Wilson! Reigning Miss Universe Australia, Maria Wilson. Oh, hey, Maria. Well, the sash out too. Congratulations on the win. How did you celebrate? Oh, well, we have a tradition with Miss Universe Australia. We have Maccas after the <laughs> final, so we all... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> so we all tucked into Maccas and yeah, just had a had a dance, had a boogie. What's your order? Chicken nuggets. <laughs> How many? Twelve. Wow. Yeah. I respect that. Gets here. <laughs> now you brought in the sash and yes. we're very excited. I'm I'm too scared. A bit scared to touch it, but this oh. is I'll let Put you handle that. Put it on right. some. Put it on. <laughs> Who would you like to thank? <laughs> wondering if this is going to affect my weave. But I'll... Um... <laughs> hey, so, look, anyway, the sash and the, and the uh, crown, do you get to keep them? I have them for a year, so... Oh, yeah, oh. Not quite, but... That's scary, because then you can't, like, you can't lose it all. Yes, Lloyd? Do you have to wear the sash all the time? <laughs> <laughs> yes! I actually, I sleep in it, I go to the gym in it, mm. same with the crown. Absolutely. Yes, Alex. Tom, I noticed you managed to take last week off, not this week. <laughs> no, it was it was a choice between uh, Miss Universe or the smart ass golf kid. And um, <laughs> he was great. He was lovely. You, you have never looked more like a Texas oil billionaire and his young wife than right now, mate. Right? But um, I'm gonna get this back on the rails, yeah, mate. Please. What okay. uh, what made you enter the competition? Thank you. I really, well, Miss Universe, it gives you a platform, so mm. I'm into sport, I love my sport, I'm a ski coach, athletics coach, and so I thought, why not do the program, see what happens, and be able to push sport sure. for Aussie so, kids. see where it goes. And so how did you prepare? Oh, so we did walking training with Thelma, she's a gun, she's so good, um, and we just, yeah, did runway training, put some music on, and... And walked in a straight line? Pretty much. If Tom does that with the walker. <laughs> Put this back on. I've got a question. Yeah. You know the, um, the whole pageantry uh, biz, it seems to have changed, doesn't it, in terms yeah. of, like, there's no um, uh, bikini section or that. Well, so what are the things that you had to do? No, yeah, there's a bikini section. Oh, is it? Cool, yeah. I'm back in. No one's... <laughs> <laughs> that that I thought it was... I thought in the modern what day the get, that was gone. Then he get tempted to show us that he didn't Google it. Why is that? <laughs> no, I so Do you want to call some people and cancel tonight's plans? <laughs> no, I just I thought that that bit was gone. Why no, did you no, think that? <laughs> oh, just because it's 2023. <laughs> so next step is heading to El Salvador in November. Yes, El Salvador. Up against the world. And what do you uh, win if you you just win. you become the universe title okay. holder? Oh. No, no. Oh. <laughs> So hitting the, the genetic uh, lottery, like we yeah. did. Are you talking... Um, <laughs> are, you are you talking to Maria or me? No. I've, I'm just saying, I've always found it a bit of a curse, right? <laughs> How have you handled it? Well, I don't think I'd call it a lottery, um, but... Bill, you worked hard on those cheekbones, did you? <laughs> I'm not, I think, you know, like I said, it's a bit of a curse, but you just you carry on. <laughs> have you dealt with it, Sam? How have you dealt with the, this, this burden of stunning beauty your whole life? Not well. That's why I'm on my seventh marriage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Marais kindly agreed to ask uh, you five some questions. Grab the cards, yes. Marais, and let's, uh, let's do it. So, question one. A 2000s-era fashion trend is making a comeback. <laughs> what is it? What's that fashion trend? Alex. It's that. It's dress over jeans. Yeah. It's a look I call Farmer Wants to Be a Wife. Is <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's a 
the section they should have in, in Miss Universe. Forget the swimsuit, you should do the dress... No, I shouldn't. OK. Um, Mariah. We... Sorry, Mariah. <laughs> oh, Tom's all flustered here. Yeah. Oh, dear, dear. You're going to need Lloyd's book. I notice Mariah's not. <laughs> I think there's a certain uh, electricity. Yeah. <laughs> it's the defibrillator. <laughs> oh, sorry, Mariah. Oh, so Mariah, you're standing next to a man who was there when electricity was in the discovery. <laughs> you're standing next to a man who five minutes ago fell off his own desk. <laughs> right. Which new celebrity power couple was caught kissing at a Beyonce concert this week? Mel. So it was a Beyonce concert. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was it was it Jay Z and Becky with a good yeah. hair? <coughs> it's the no, it's very common. Is you, uh, Sam? I'm going to rule out uh, Ed and Tiff. They're not even in the same bedroom at the moment. <laughs> You said celebrity couple? Yes. Yeah. So not Lloyd and Edo. Uh, <laughs> I think it was Timothy Chalamet and one of the Jenners. No way he's got that. Yeah. yeah. Close enough? Yeah, that's it. Which, what? Carly which, Jenner. Carly, Carly Jenner. Jenner. Yeah, yeah, Carly. Carly Jenner. Same point to yours. <laughs> Timothy Chalamet is one of the prettiest ladies in Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> right. Kanye West and his Australian wife, Bianca, have been banned for life from doing what? <laughs> They're not wanted, Ed. <laughs> A bit of mount weasel? <laughs> Otherwise known as Alex. I don't know how much information to give, <laughs> but there was indecent exposure on a boat in Venice. Yes. yes. There was also a uh, indecent act. Oh, we don't have the act bit on our boat. Oh, oh, this is okay, new. Well, let me say it was less of a gondola and more of a tugboat. Okay. <laughs> we don't have one. We'll take the first part now. What do you add? I was just going to say, if you need it in Italian terms, it was like carne, salami, and bocconcini balls. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you, Mel. That's helpful. But I think, um, I think Alex might have done the heavy lifting there. I think so. Uh, exposed himself on a gondola, apparently. Yes. <laughs> wow. Mariah, please. Robbie Williams shared this video. <laughs> My first unboxing video. It's got a cockerel on it. But I'm actually excited. And it's... I think it's the bowel cancer screening kit. Yes. <laughs> For our demographic, it's not. What well, was Robbie excited to get Sam? No, it's the severed finger of Gary Barlow. Yes. <laughs> not the answer we're chasing. He, uh, Lord, help us out. They're um, Tottenham Hotspur uh, soccer shirts. Yeah. Ooh, let's take a look. What? Yeah. There it is. Points are yours, Lloyd. We've got to take a break. Congratulations on your Thanks. win and good luck for the finals in El Salvador. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, awesome.